Talk hard and enjoy the mindgasm. The intellectual podcast starts now. People who play Pokemon are the holy cut. Welcome to another great podcast. All right. Where we don't offend anyone. It's like an hour and a half. Should I test mine? Am I good? Yeah, that's yours. Go ahead and talk. Hello. Hello. Test, test. Check, check, check. How does does, uh, Jeff Crap sound to you there, Mark? How do I sound? Do I sound Beer, wine, ice luge. Very crappy. <laughs> Very crappy. Ice luge. Very crappy. <laughs> Holy crap! Is that Jeff? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he sounds good. This guy at SeaWorld lets me in. Okay. Oh, you're going to the ship show? If you see Jeff, tell him I said, Holy crap! <laughs> that asshole. That asshole. What a guy. Let me hear you again, Neil. He lives for that joke, doesn't he? he? Does. Check, check, Every test, time. test. Holy crap! The ice luge. Like, Holy Hello. Crap, what? It's what? Jeff. It's you. One, two, three. <laughs> he saw me on NBC one, one two, time. three, goes, check. I, when you, when you Ice luge, you know, water slide. Right. You, you were this Jeff Crapoff guy, and all of a sudden now, I saw you on TV, he goes, now you're like, holy crap! I'm like, fuck you, Joe. <laughs> Joe probably has like, Joe probably has like a tube TV. He has like a, like, really like Bunny a, ears. Yeah, bunny ears, yeah. Yep. That's probably what he has. SeaWorld Marine, that's what they do here. So did you get that a lot, uh, growing up with that name? Oh, man. Dude, it was like a... Having a good, the regular teacher was totally fine, but when you had a substitute teacher, yeah. that is when the issue was the, that that was the problem. Yeah. Because the substitute would always go through like all the names and start from A, the last names A sure. through whatever, and then they got to um, the K's, and everybody <laughs> waited for mine. <laughs> Anthony Kramer here, Jeff, and, and at that point, crap, crap, crap. <laughs> everybody from uh, all over the entire classroom, seriously. crap, crap. And I'm like, raise my hand, whatever. And then the uh, P is yeah, silent. And then the teacher would go, everybody settle down. Jeff, how do you say your name? It's crap. The P is silent. And then all of a sudden, <laughs> silent P, silent P. Oh, oh my gosh. Wow. 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 There's no way to win. No. Nope. Oh, dude, this sucked. Mark, it sucked. <laughs> Welcome to another episode of the Intellectual Podcast. I'm your host, Dave Dawson. Joining me today on a boat. On a boat. It's Krista Naomi. And. Mark Atkinson. Welcome back, Mark. It's been a while since hey, you've been on Hey, we missed episode. you, Mark. Yeah, I've been Seriously. on hiatus. I know. Well, you know, I'm only a uh, text away. <laughs> is that it? <laughs> no, it's <laughs> actually about two yeah, feet yeah, yeah. away right now. Yeah. <laughs> Which is good. <clears throat> and our guest today is the absolutely amazing Jeff Kraft. How are you, sir? I'm doing fantastic. I have a flag in my head right now. <laughs> you do? <laughs> yes, do. I, he I, does. I have, so this is remnants of the ship show, uh, which is the name of the boat. There's flags all over the place, and there's bikini tops missing, which was my favorite part. Yeah. There's a flag <laughs> missing, and I saw this when we were trying to get some water. And, uh, yeah, that's, that's, it's in my head right now. It's in my hair. <laughs> yep, it is. Yeah, yeah. Some people wear barrettes. I wear flags. <laughs> Sandy. Well, it's a look. You wear it well. <laughs> you wear it well, my friend. Oh. You've had a lot true, of beer than Christian. True Americana. You've had a lot of beer, my true dear. Americana. <laughs> All American. Hey, I'm craft. glad you guys are out here, though. This is really fun. This is I come really out here, nice. I'm usually out here by myself uh, during the week because everybody has those job things. Mm. So, yeah, those uh, job see, things. We don't have that. I, we, should, we should do this every week. <laughs> every week. We'd have probably three listeners. But, you know, those three listeners would be entertained. This is why I came to California, so I could just sit on a boat and just talk about how we don't have to work but be on boats. <laughs> yeah, I think we'd have more people wanting to come be on the show. Absolutely. If we're like, hey, you can hang out on the boat with us in Mission Bay for a couple hours. <laughs> yeah. That's what, I that's what got you, you here, didn't it, Tony Cox? Yeah. There's yeah, Tony Cox is in the, in the peanut gallery. Yay. Tony's already been on the show. Hanging we, out. So we have a live audience. Yeah, you have a live audience. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Nothing but the best for you, Jeff. That is where yeah. I, 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 I actually live excel. Live audience of Uno. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Oh, good, Tony. I'm glad you're out here, Tony. I haven't seen you for a while. Thanks. So Ship show's a good time. So Jeff is the former host of Tonight in San Diego. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We had Jesse on the show recently. Oh, what a great guy. I love that Um, guy. Lovely guy. Yeah. You're a lovely guy. Um, It's only because I don't wear underwear. That's why you're saying that. (laughs) Well, you know. I can see him sitting right across from (laughs) me. Oh, my God. (laughs) (laughs) Well, when the wind's blowing your way. He's a lovely guy, and he's well endowed, too. (laughs) Yeah. Wow. I but love I being I love being the, the only show. woman yeah. on the boat. By the way, you are the only woman. I am on the, the boat. only woman on the boat, and you're and you're doing a very good job. Fantastic. Of it, which right. you know, is a little different. Kristen, when it, so you have a bathing suit on. 
Yeah. But you have something over the top of that right now. Correct. When is that coming off? I... <laughs> this is a shit show. Listen, if all right. Listen, listen, American flag. All right. <laughs> It doesn't necessarily mean that it's coming up. We didn't decide what kind of boating we're going to do today. I've got a lot of alcohol. <laughs> all right, we'll, we'll get it's to that point. We'll, 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 we'll get to that point when we, when we get to it, all right? Well, I'm glad you guys are here. Hey, you're the only one. Dave, you're, the only, you're drinking Coca-Cola in the old school bottle. Yes. You're, you're the only one with no liquor in you right now. I don't drink it. Wow. So now what do we do? Disappointment in your face, Jeff. Cheers, Mark and Tony and Kristen. <laughs> now, m- Tony's not drinking. You're not giving him any grief. He had some sunflower seeds, actually. He had some sunflower <laughs> seeds. He's had some water. And have you had anything to drink at all? Ginger ale. Ginger ale. Ginger ale. <laughs> all right. So Mark, it looks like our tops are coming yeah. off. That's the only tops that are coming off. All right. Off. It's part of the rule to get on this boat. I remember last time I came, it was uh, rainy. I'm glad there's children's summer camps that are surrounding the ship <laughs> show, are, by the way. They are. They are. They're totally so – we have sailboats. We've got uh, – there are some kayaks Stand over there. Stand-up paddle Stand-up paddle borders. Yeah. 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 We, have a, we have a water slide on the back of a pontoon boat. Yeah. Not, not mine, but another guy over there. Yeah. Yeah. That guy's jealous. He moved away. Yeah. It's okay. yeah. My deck's bigger than his. Oh, hey now. <laughs> and, and your deck is double. It's, it's a double, a double decker. deck. Yeah. yeah, I've got more decks than he does. You've got the biggest deck on Mission Bay, don't you? Well, there's four guys on this boat. What a deck. <laughs> what a... <laughs> and it's a beautiful deck. Wow. Hasn't taken long for this podcast nope. to take that nope. turn, has it? And it's already... <laughs> yep. It's already gone that way. Well, here's the thing. Deck jokes. So... Yes, Mark, you haven't been on the show much since we came back. There's a lot of reasons for that. But this episode, we had to have all three of these intellectuals on the show Mm -hmm. with Jeff. Because one year ago, one year ago, we all were in a movie together. We were. That's right. We were very much so. (laughs) That's right. Anybody remember the name of that movie? Nope. No (laughs) No idea. (laughs) The Adventures of Ranger Rocket and Daisy Danger. Yep. (laughs) And Daisy Danger. What? Ranger Rockets no. and Daisy Danger. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go that was again. Good. <laughs> All of her. Great. That was. Um, <laughs> it was a good time. Whatever. That we was won a fun Spirit movie Award. that I didn't really get to interact with you guys on <laughs> no. until, until the premiere. Well, you we did. didn't even know you were going to be a part of it until last minute. <laughs> no clue. I heard, I, I heard of all about there it. Was yeah, there was a rumor. Was a bunch of was there was a rumor. Yeah. I didn't see you, but I heard you. <laughs> I hate to toot my own horn, but I was responsible for the casting of both you guys, actually. Were you really? It was originally going to be William Wall wanted uh, Ryan Lapine. I don't know if you know who that is. Mm-hmm. I don't, I don't know. Ryan students. was actually in the film. He was in the film. He was, yeah. he he was one of the. He was the, one of the extras. One of the filmmakers next oh, to me. You guys yeah. would have won so many awards if you actually would have chose Ryan. Well, he's not an actor though. He didn't want to well, be it at all, my, but he wanted the all American look. And we had a meeting, and oh, then I man. suggested they were meeting. If you guys could see us right now. Yeah. You are well, the All-American you, you have an American Mark, flag coming you out of your head. You're literally American growing look. an American flag out of your head. And then what we got right now, so that is the reason why I got that part. I got a flag coming out of my ass basically right now. Your ass is in your forehead? Well, have you seen my chin? I got a butt chin. Just look at that chin. You got to be the next Kurt Douglas. That's right. Oh my gosh. That's Mark's line in that movie. The the Adventures of Ranger Rocket. There was a lot of fun. We shot it in Coronado. Yeah. No permits. Coronado Beach. You You remember that? Thank you, Jody. Silly. She was actually the one. She got on top of that. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if if she gave that cop a blowjob. No, no, no. What? But he let us go. Listen, listen. All right, Jody did not. She came back allegedly and wiped her lip. No, I thought for sure. Listen. Stop it. Yeah. Jody did not do that. I'm going to make sure. Okay. But what Jody did do, polite, Jody went up and talked to him. And yeah. she said, she basically gave the excuse because when it's a religious thing, live. they can't, they don't need permits. So she told the the policeman that it, right. we were having a Scientology oh, wedding. Oh, and, no, that's right. And he couldn't do anything. And he was like, all right, well, legalities, there's some legalities in California that state if it's a religious occurrence, you can't. You can't be involved. And thank like, goodness for there's Tom no Cruise because yeah. that would never have become a religion without him. And I, <laughs> I know. Went to, I went to the side the, the religion, the celebrity Scientologist deal in Hollywood, mm-hmm. and and I went through. They they tested me, and they want you to do all these kind of oh, crazy yeah. things mm-hmm. in order for you to go. And, you know, I tell you what, man, you meet a lot of great actors there, mm-hmm. and I believe every single one of them worked for Scientology, acting like they actually enjoy being there because they mm-hmm. do so much mm-hmm. garden work. They don't do anything for fun. Oh, they just, they're all botanists. Okay. Work. All right. I'm in. <laughs> it really is. It's garden. I like that. Do you like Sounds the garden? Peaceful. 
yeah, but not with, you know, people that are, you know, weirdly religious and worried about alien planets. Not a religion. Genomes it's a cult. Stuff. Thetans, Thetans. Hey, it's I don't Mission really... Impossible. Tom Cruise wouldn't do it unless it was real. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, yeah. Because there's John... a man that you can trust. Yeah, that's exactly. John Travolta. Talk about Mission Impossible. <laughs> Jeez. There's a guy. It was a Mission there's Impossible. There. I can't believe we actually... Oh, no, we didn't. We, we didn't actually That was surprising. And nope. you... <laughs> you... Jeff had didn't to host. It. You had to host. You had to leave... At yeah, like 11 did, yeah. or something to yeah. host. I had two 48 plays that day. I was doing, uh, or not 48, fringe? I had two fringe plays that day. So I was doing Fringe Festival. Jeff had to host. Yeah. I don't even know how we pulled that off the first day. It was it hot. It was a lot of fun. I, it, it was it, so much fun. It was a lot of fun. Yeah, it well, was I really was working fun. Surf Cup that weekend, which is why I didn't do the 48. And I was like completely fucking asleep. And I get a phone call from Mark, who never calls me. <laughs> so I wake up and I look at my phone I'm like what the fuck at where's like Mark calling me and I'm like, it was like hello in the middle of the night he's yeah. like hey uh, what's you up to I'm like yeah, um, yeah, that, that's uh, a perfect impression <laughs> <laughs> I'm like I'm sleeping oh uh, you wanna do this voice thing for William Wall <laughs> like what are you talking about kind of like a Jay Leno hey well, you know I was thinking about it. I, I, I was thinking about doing this thing I'm Folks, folks, so I'm folks. so I'm literally I'm laying in bed, and William Wall gets on the phone. He's like, "Hey, uh, I need you to audition for me." <laughs> I'm like, "What?" He's like, "Give me your best, you know, uh, robot voice." <laughs> I'm like, wiping sleep out of my eyes. I'm like, "What? What the hell's going on?" <laughs> but he's the like, "Give me." Thing, he says, it, it, "Give me your best Danger Will Robinson." I'm like, "Okay, hold on, William Wall. Let me sit up in bed before I do that for you." <laughs> The first thing that would come to, if somebody asked me that, the first thing that would come to my mind is the Jetsons. That would be the first thing that would ever come right. to my mind. Is that, do you even remember the Jetsons, Christian? Oh, absolutely. I you, do. You, you were born like eight years ago, I think. Oh, I She's eight years old. You're my favorite person right now. Right, everybody. She's the most so, beautiful yeah. toddler I've ever hung out with. Oh, man. I tell you what. She is a sexy. When is that top coming off? Anyways, Whoa. the Jetsons are wearing. That, <laughs> I'm that, that, that was wine, the Jeff. actual show. That was the show to be a part Great of. Great anyway, segue, I got Jeff. Off, I got off of. Uh, Great off segue. Of, uh, <laughs> It was the seven should be a talk show that host. I've been drinking right. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, man. This should be your new talk show format. The call it the we ship would, show. We would kill it. Unedited, raw, mm. drunk. So it's not a conflict. <laughs> it's not a conflict. I mean, we have tonight in San Diego, obviously, which is the best show in San Diego. But if it's today in San Diego, it's not a conflict. It's right? not. No, no. Well, I tell you what. I think what about, we got it. Yeah. Boys yeah. and girl. But then, you know, there's going to be another show called uh, San Diego Today. Oh. <laughs> whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Jerry. Allegedly. And it'll be hosted you. by really old farts. Jerry, we've Allegedly. seen you San Diego tonight. Go back to radio. Just, just putting it out there. I'm Allegedly. Sorry. I, you know, I love Jerry. Jeff actually is a really I, I hung out with Jeff not too long ago. And Jeff's a really great guy. Jerry's a great guy. But it is not TV. Hey, speaking of kids, hi guys over there. Hey, hello. Hey, hey. hey. It's, it's summer, summertime right now. Yes. Yeah. Uh, you, you guys are totally on. You're, you're totally the radio. famous right now. Um, but uh, anyway, I love yeah. her. By the way, she's so she excited. We you're TV. amazing. She forgot there's cameras involved no when cameras it comes involved. to TV. <laughs> yeah. But uh, no, Jerry, Jerry and Jeff are great, but they definitely should stick to radio. But yes, yeah, <laughs> tonight in San Diego, I, I do. I love it. I, I think it's fantastic. Jesse's doing a great job. And um, and that's where I met you guys is uh, mm-hmm. tonight in San Diego. That's where it all that's where it all yeah. started was yeah. the backwoods of the uh, Horton Grand Horton Grand, yeah, Horton Grand the Hotel. Palace Bar having drinks after after. <laughs> or, sorry, I was before, <laughs> yeah. during, I had drinks during, and I had at after. Yeah, <laughs> you guys weren't there before. Me and the bartender we got to know each other very, very well. Yeah, <laughs> mm-hmm. so, but I'm glad you guys are out here. The tonight in San Diego has transitioned from the uh, solid ground to a little bit of liquid courage right now. So we're on the boat. It's fun. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Well, yeah, and we were all guests when you were hosts. So yeah, yeah, we were in the uh, the yeah. Jeff Craft era. Yeah, I brought you a. Uh, Alcohol, remember? No. <laughs> no. Nope. There's a lot of people that brought me alcohol. <laughs> that was basically what I got paid. So Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. I use it as under I can of coke and a little use preparation H. One I one shot of beam. Beam and coke. That's yeah. what I prefer. <laughs> well, you look right. fabulous. So well, thank you very much. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we were thank guests. Thank you very much. I think I only said one word that whole interview. I think so too, actually. Yeah, you know what? I remember right. what word it was too. What episode was that? Do you remember what episode that was? 
Oh, episode man. Episode number? Yeah. Episode number? I have no idea. No, but it, it was. It was a fun episode. I actually, I really enjoyed you guys. Because when you, when you do a talk show, which I had never done before tonight in San Diego, I've hosted a lot of TV shows around the world and, um, and live events around the world. When you get on, and when you see back, back when I first started watching uh, talk shows, you Johnny Carson, and then, you know, you had Jay Leno, and you had David Letterman, and now mm. you've got Fallon and Kimmel, and you've got all these other ones that are coming out. Conan. There. It was, it go, it could, Arch nemesis. That's all I've got to say. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> so you know, it's coming you, back. When, when you have a guest on the show, mm. your job as a guest is to have something prepared. Mm. Obviously, I don't today, but don't don't judge it by what I'm doing today. <laughs> but you you you're, on TV, you, you got to have something prepared, right? Um, and so many guests, especially San Diego, when you localize, when you have a localized TV show, you 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 don't have artists that are prepared to come on a TV show. Um, and be funny or have a story where something can be uh, – where you, the host can pull something from and it, it can mm-hmm. be a, a transition into this and that. Have an idea of what you got going on. You guys did. It was fun. It was really a lot of fun. And, I, and I've got to say there's probably five out of all 36 episodes that we did in 2015, five that actually had something prepared. Mm-hmm. And um, you guys were one of them. It was, it was really fun. It was, it, was, it was great to have all three of you guys there. And it's fun to play off of each other. But that was one of the things with Tonight in San Diego. One of the hardest things was to figure out, does this artist, whether it's a musician, <laughs> whether it's an actress or an actor, uh, producer, comedian, whatever it was, do they have something prepared? And a lot of times they didn't. And mm. it's, it's really hard. Naomi and I have been talking about that recently. Yeah, it's actually that because I've been more people in I, I'm, doing hus- I'm doing uh, hospitality now. For tonight in San Diego, and I'm, you know, I'm in charge of the guests and seeing these questionnaires that are sent out and trying the to qu- get this information. They're, 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 we sent questionnaires out, and yeah, yes, there's it, we, they answered it like it was a multiple choice, like A, B, C, D. Yeah, they're like, false. hey, do you have any like interesting, interesting stories? And they're like, maybe, and they don't say anything. We're like, <laughs> the whole yeah. point is so we yeah. know, you know, more about you, so we can get you know used to you. And it's really interesting because most of the time. We'll have questions, and then Jesse will be up in the green room, and they'll start talking to the guests, and then he's like, wait, 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 we need to get this story. Okay, they told me about this. It was hilarious, and this is where we connect, and then we write, we write questions. I had no idea. Yeah, until it's, I was, it's, you it's, know. With, with this day and age now, mm-hmm. and it's, it's interesting how just one year mm-hmm. um, is so different from the year prior. So when I started, Periscope was a hot thing. Right. I remember I periscoped on Tonight in San Diego. Well, nobody periscopes anymore. That's like MySpace now. Mm-mm. Exactly. Know? It yeah. is. It's like MySpace. <laughs> it's so weird. So people now Friendster. have Facebook Live. Oops, so sorry. I remember I, remember Don't I touch periscoped. Me, Mark. That was the hot thing. That was one year ago. And now Facebook, nobody even talks about Periscope one bit. No. It's all about Facebook Live. So it's interesting how, um, how much the industry transitions and changes in such a short period of time Mm -hmm. and when you have a city like san diego where there's so much opportunity here and we've got the all-star game that's happening tonight we had the derby that happened last night we've got Mm -hmm. on friday coming up this next week which opening day podcast is coming up we've got the of course del mar race is coming Mm -hmm. out we've got pride happening this next week we've got comic-con coming up there's so much happening this is so much happening weeks to where it's it's happening right now everything is happening right now now. yeah Mm -hmm. and if you're an artist and you want to be and you want to make an impression you've got to be prepared Right now. Right now. It's not like back in the nope. early Leno and Letterman and Carson days where you, you, you have time to prepare. You better have something right now because if somebody has a microphone like we have in front of our mouth right now, you better be prepared right now. So there's, well, it's, there's it's, so much it's opportunity It's an interesting right thing because even when, when you and I were kids, there were only like five or six stations to watch. Yeah. You know, right. so if you were fucking boring on a talk show... There probably wasn't any alternative to watching you be boring anyway. That's so, why Carson mm-hmm. was so great. Yeah, so, you know, it was, that was, it was the only fine. great thing yep. on TV. Right. Yeah. Mm. Today, like, if you go on a talk show as a guest and you're fucking boring, nobody's going to watch you. They're going to click on to the next thing because there's 300, 400 options of shit to watch at that time. And what's fantastic is if you are great, if you do make an impression, if you have some bit... I'm going to take this flag out of my head. <laughs> I like your... Oh, <laughs> old glory's touching the ground. Oh, it's touching the ground. No, 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 it's no, no. Technically, it's, it's on the ground. It's a deck. On the it's table. a deck. It's, it's on a the big deck. deck. It's, it's not on the deck, deck, by the way. It's a big deck. It's on my deck. Your deck's clean. I am always glorious. Jeff crafts so, deck. Yeah. So, but I mean, now... It's got a big clean deck. If you have a great a great bit and you and you have something that sticks where you have an audience that's either niche or whatever that really likes what you've got going on 
Mm-hmm. You have another. You have a podcast like like this, like a fantastic podcast. You have um, all these video blogs. You have all these, and they want a piece of you. If you do something that is memorable, mm-hmm. and it's it's like I said, it's it's all about now, 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 now. Why do you think BuzzFeed is like three minutes long and not? You know, 30 minutes long, an hour long show mm-hmm. because you don't need it anymore. Yep. You better be prepared. And that's where Tonight in San Diego was, uh, where it is and was, can definitely be fantastic. The artist can make Tonight in San Diego fantastic, a nationalized show. Even though it's local in San Diego, there's so much great talent here in San Diego. We, we all know this. Um, so many shows being filmed here. Pitch on Fox is being filmed here right now. There's a reason for that because it is so close to the entertainment capital of the world in Los Angeles. There's so much great talent here in San Diego that goes to Los Angeles and our major, major actors and actresses uh, there. If you're not prepared, you're not going to come back and be something that's going to be spectacular. Be spectacular all the time and be prepared. And that's where tonight in San Diego, I felt like sometimes it's like, oh, I wish the artists were more prepared. Well, it's, mm. it's interesting, actually, because... You know, the three of us came on that night, but I was the invited guest. And when I talked to Fale and the team, I said, oh, well, I want to bring my team on with me because this is about intellectual entertainment. And we're 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 a collective group in like I'm not just the only name here, you know, and I'm not the only personality and that's important. And By the way, for those of you guys that are listening right now, we're actually on a 30-foot double-decker pontoon boat in the middle of Mission Bay. If you know Mission <laughs> just, Bay, just we floating. are in Sail Bay right now. Sail Bay by in the middle of Catamaran, Fanwell Park. We're just floating around right now. We're, we're, we're barely at the mercy even looking of the at each other. The we're just, we're just, we're, uh, I'm drinking out of a Red Solo cup. David's <laughs> drinking out of a Coca-Cola glass bottle. I'm empty. Kristen's drinking out of a Samuel Adams Summer Ale. Same I need thing, a refill, actually. Same thing for, for Mark. His is empty. And Tony Cox, he is the celebrity right now. Ginger ale. How do you like them apples? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just want to let people no know worries, what's no going worries. on. Sure. So, so it was important to me that all three of us were on because that that's who we are. And, and our comfort level comes from being together. And I, if it had just been me as your guest that night, I don't think it would have gone as well. Um, You know, I... I but it caused a bit of panic with the team <laughs> to have all three of us on. They're like, how are we going to fit that all in? How are we going to deal with the time? And I'm like, trust me, we'll be fine. We know what we're talking about. You know, it, it's, it's interesting you say that. So with podcasts of how fantastic they've been all over the world, how fantastic, they, fantastic they've been. Um, when you put a camera, especially three cameras, um, in front of you, you have different angles. It messes with people's mind. When you do radio, I did radio for years. Um, you do uh, TV where it's a small local TV, you do a major TV show, whatever, a camera will mess with you. And if um, if you get intimidated, you're sitting there by yourself, you get intimidated by a camera, it's not going to work well. It's always so much fun when you have more people. It really is. But when you have a camera, everybody has that individual feeling. Like, oh, the camera's there. Kristen, the camera's there. David, the camera's there. Everybody is trying to play to the camera. If you are just natural and you're just having a good time, the camera's going to pick that up. It's the editor's job to figure out where those magical moments are. Right. And if you're live, hey, you know, that's that's my favorite thing. My favorite thing in the entire world is being live, no matter what, mm-hmm. is being live. And being with NBC now, I don't get that. Um, and if I have to, my fallback plan is to be an anchor. <laughs> Where you get to be here, you got to be live. But, you know, that's a fallback plan. It's still a teleprompter. It's not really live. Um, so that's where it's like the, the three of you guys are so fantastic. It's so fun because you guys have all so dynamic personalities, so different, and it's so fun. And that night was really a lot of fun because you guys really got to show your personalities on an individual basis um, with a live audience, with a camera there, with a live format. That's the hardest thing. The hardest thing. And um, but it's a lot of fun. It's so much fun. It was fun for me, and it was fun for me to have you guys on uh, right there in front of me. Yeah, I had a real good time on the show that night. Absolutely. Actually, I felt incredibly comfortable on the show that night. Like I, oh yeah, I'm usually pretty stiff. Yeah, <laughs> I won't lie. Based on what I'm seeing right now. Deck jokes. <laughs> deck jokes. Hashtag deck jokes. Hashtag deck jokes. We don't need to bleep anything out, right? No, no, no. No, Fuck no it's no. podcast. That's a really big deck. Yeah. <laughs> But no, I, I actually I actually riffed with you. I did the whole like broken audio thing and like I don't know, it's just it was super comfortable being on the show that night. Well, I mean so it helped it too fun. because we already all knew each other. We've already technically mm-hmm. worked together, you know. That sometimes such... is harder though. 
Really? That you sometimes, think? in my mind, when I know somebody that's going to be on a show, whatever, no matter what show I'm doing, mm-hmm. it's harder. Okay. Hmm. It becomes... Um, it becomes more canned. You know, you got okay. something in the back of your back of your pocket, yeah. um, back of your head, because you mm-hmm. you be- got this relationship with this guy, yeah. and you know what the story is. That's, story's that's interesting. Already know what the story is going to be. Yeah, I'm we talk about that on the podcast. Exciting. So, but if you don't know, mm-hmm. the fun thing about not knowing is not knowing where it's going to go. Mm. This is true. But the host job, or whoever's leading the podcast or show, whatever it is, host job is to feed off of it and. Figure out where to go next. That's the fun part. Yeah. That's yeah. the fun part. So that's exactly how we approach the podcast. Because when I first, when I got my first celebrity interview on the podcast, I did all sorts of research on her, and I shut up and I had all these preconceived notions of what I wanted to ask and like a list and whatever. And um, it was Martha Davis from the motels. Got it. Yeah. And she just like laid into me during the episode about, you know, my research being wrong and not right and, you know, and be present with me, you know, like, so after that, I was like, that's it. No more fucking research. So I don't research anybody who comes on the show anymore. I just want to listen to them, be present and see where our conversations what's, go. What's, what's the first thing so when you do an, an acting class, even though, you know, a lot of us have hosted different things, we're act, mm-hmm. different actors at uh, different parts of our lives. What's the one thing an acting coach says? What's the most important thing? Be affected. Don't try to affect. Exactly. React. React. Reacting is yep. reacting acting. is the number one thing, mm-hmm. and that is what is most uh, incredible when it comes to whether it's live or no matter what it is. You can still always react. Mm-hmm. The camera's mm-hmm. going to pick it up, but oh, you yeah. just have to genuinely react. Mm. And that is it's it's a, it's a moment that you can't recreate. No, I love if that. You're recreating uh, it. It's, it's not reacting. No, yeah, you're, you're acting. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> And Just that's my favorite thing in life is is doing that. I, and mm. it's it really is. It's really a fun part. Um, well, that's you're truly really living moment. in the moment then. Yeah. Mm-hmm. From you know, I from a hosting standpoint as well. Like that's I love that. I absolutely did. And Saturday, you know, perfect example when we were up in Beverly Hills and we were at that Lego premiere oh, yeah. up in you know. Oh, I saw you guys at the did Paley that, Center. The, the Lego, the, the, yeah, that was great. You know, I got to talk to these guys that I've been looking up to for years. You know, John DiMaggio is the voice of Bender. You know, like uh, Eric Bowes is the voice of Stimpy. Like Will Friedle, I was watching him Boy Meets World when Stimpy. I was like, I had. I'm pretty sure I had a picture of his face on my wall when I was like nine. You know what I mean? <laughs> but then the whole you, time, you, like you could see it on her face while she was. In oh, it. absolutely! Yeah. I'm Did sitting there really? like, oh my That's gosh, he's still so cute, and he still has this like sweepy haircut. I'm like, ah, oh, dang it! And um, <laughs> but then we're talking. When's that top coming up? <laughs> <sighs> Probably about now. Jeez. Anyway. Getting y'all hot and sweaty. But he's, you know, we're talking, and you know, I personally, I'm like a, I've been like a closet nerd, and he. He starts, you know, talking about the show that his friends are on D and D, and I'm like, man, I wish I brought my twenty side to die with me. And he's like, really? Because I have mine right here. And I'm like, oh my gosh! Like, I, totally I, you can gasped. see it. I'm yeah, like, hey, amazing. there's no way I could have planned that. <laughs> so I didn't know he had a twenty side die in his pocket at all times. Now I want to marry him. You know what I mean? I'm like, oh my gosh. <laughs> So but, that's what, that, that's and what him need, David, and John DiMaggio in our pockets. I need like a whole set of dogs. dude. Like a whole like set of dogs. Yeah. My wife is looking for somebody to live in our our, our other bedroom, and Kristen might be the one. Wow. <laughs> there you go. But I got to arm wrestle. Maybe David, Mark, <laughs> Tony. Tony, everybody on the boat. Every, actually, yeah. everybody, yeah. everybody wants yeah. to arm wrestle. Yeah. Yeah. I'm looking over your shoulder, and I'm looking at this guy with the uh, the water jetpack there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Have you done that ever? Oh, yeah. I did that. I hosted a show called Getaway San Diego, uh-huh. and it was on... Uh, and he just bailed. Different... Nice. Uh, yeah. yeah. Usually they do, and no, I did, he's too. still going. Yeah. But, oh, wow. uh, yeah, I hosted a show in San Diego, I don't know how many years ago, four years ago, something like that, three years ago. And, um, yeah, it was a lot of fun. So I got to do a lot of things around San Diego. Uh, did you ever see that clip? And play. You ever see that I clip? Feel. I think it was on Fox 5. Yes, he totally bailed. <laughs> oh, yeah. You guys I, ever see I, that? I, it went it viral. Was Live. It went viral, it was and I think they even right. they showed it on uh, 30 Rock, too. Yeah. The guy's putting the jetpack on. Yes. And he goes, and it starts right now. And then he just takes a nosedive right into the water. Oh, and yeah, then yeah. What, what are their names? Uh, Chrissy Russo and. Uh, oh, God. Chrissy Just Russo. lose their shit on camera live. They. Have you guys, if, you know that clip totally. I'm talking about? Yeah. If you I, haven't done it when you're, if you're listening right now, 
just get online while you're listening right now because over the next probably about 45 seconds, nothing's interesting going to happen. So I'm going to be talking. So <laughs> just, just, just open up your Apple, push power, and wiggle the little mouse pad around. And all of a sudden, boo, it's all alive. So if you go if you go into Fox 5 and you type, or just in Google, whatever, YouTube. Fox 5 water People jet. can just water yell it into yeah, their yeah, phones just, now. You, they you do, do the, 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 the no jet pack anymore. San Diego Fox, just put in Fox those five. words. Yeah, Fox that's it. Fox 5 water jet Fox. <laughs> It will come out, <laughs> and as I am right now. Actually, I want to tell you guys something. You're coming out oh. right now. I can't. I know. Friday, right. Saturday. No, no, right. it's not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. So, uh, but <laughs> you're gonna make a, a lot of just happy just, people. Just, like, Fun, right, even happier. I mean, it, and ate Nemo basically. Just went underwater. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ate right. Nemo. It was. I'm sorry. Eight. No, Dory, because Dory's hot right now. Yeah. Sorry, finding Dory. Eight. He Dory. was trying to find Dory, is what you're saying. Trying to find Dory. Got it. That's why Chris is on that show. I'm gonna get. That's how real this podcast is, right? Now yeah, we're on the water. Blanc. People are seven on block. Water. What do you call those things? Jet pack. Jet pack. Yeah, jet pack. Water jet, jet pack. pack. You can either have it out of your backpack now, or now the the big thing is out of your feet. You wear like almost like mm-hmm. uh, uh, like rollerblades because everybody wants no to get closer and, and closer to being Tony Stark. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, pretty much. They're like exactly Iron Manning right. their way over the water. Exactly. <laughs> so Jeff, um, you were telling us before we started recording that you grew up in Stockton. Armpit of California. Yeah, it's uh, it's you know, I mean that's really rude. I mean it's it's not the, it's not the armpit of California. They have some great gas stations. If you're gonna drive <laughs> through Central California, the best place to grab the gas New is Jersey stock of California. Keep that wow, hell going. Go to San Francisco. Go to Portland. Go to Seattle. Go to New Mexico. Go to Vegas. Just don't hang out more there than whatever it takes to get gas. <laughs> it's a great right. place to get go gas. To the bathroom. But you, you get a twinkie. No, you know, go. Get a, yeah. The claim to fame. The claim to fame. All right, we got the Diaz brothers right now from Stockton who the UFC. Uh, you know, you got Diaz who who just won, who's like the champion right now, um, and uh, uh, Spanos, Alex Spanos, owner mm-hmm. of the Chargers, mm-hmm. the whole family mm-hmm. there. Stockton, California. That's where it all is. Uh, Chris Isaac, Chris Isaac, who never oh. actually, who never actually said, "I am from Stockton, California," until he was on Oprah. Until Stockton officially got the All American City. Plaque, which I'm not sure how that happened because we were for so many years the number one capital murder capital of the world. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Oprah did something. She, she Oprah, Oprah can do she anything. Can do it, guys, you can eat a Ritz cracker and make Iraq become the there, number one a reason, city in the country. There's the, a reason the her company's called Own. Well, own. Yeah, own. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, Own your life. <laughs> anyway, see, I, I grew up in Stockton. I grew up in Stockton, California. Uh, you got Tracy, Modesto, Manteca, Sacramento, just north of Stockton. Uh, you're about two hours from Santa Cruz, the closest beach, um, saltwater beach, um, you know, to us. And it was a, a suburb, but it was also a very dangerous place to live. You know, and I grew up in, uh, I went to Commodore Skills School. And uh, my dad, I remember my dad sleeping overnight in a tent to get us into the school because it had skill school involved in it. And it was one of the top schools in the uh, in the state at the time, actually, the state. And um, he slept in a tent for multiple nights for us to get in. If one kid got in, my brother is 13 months younger than I am. Um, one kid got in, the rest of the family got in. And my, did that, my dad did that. I got in and I went there from kindergarten uh, to eighth grade. And as growing up, I mean, a lot of the kids that I grew up with were uh, uh, African-American. They were black. They were Latino. Uh, their fathers or brothers, sisters were gang members. I mean, that's just what it was. It was kind of like a melting pot of negativity. And I remember my freshman year in high school, I went to Stag, Stag High School. And I remember almost, almost getting jumped into, it was at the, the Sutanials. And almost getting jumped in because there's friends of mine. That's what they. That's what they were all in. Their brothers or fathers or sisters, whatever. There were two things. Is that a gang? It was a gang. Sorry, it was I'm a white. gang. And um, I almost got <laughs> jumped in. I did. I almost got jumped in. Welcome to the real world, uh, mm-hmm. Mark Atkinson. <laughs> and um, I, I almost got jumped in. And then my dad, he put me into the school called St. Mary's and changed my life. At that time, when I went to St. Mary's, I went to my sophomore year. I had a, a, a braided tail. 
yes. a red <laughs> tail down to the middle of my back. I graduated high school in nice. 96, which means it was around 95. Why don't people have rat tails anymore? Yeah, because yeah. they're fucking gross. Okay. No, 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 no. I mine was sexy. You had it. <laughs> no, mine was gross. Mine was really gross. Rat tail. Mine was really gross. But it was. It, but I had a, I had a rat tail down to the middle of my back. It was braided. And I remember when I was Jesus. going to the father. It was, it was a, it I had a one of those. Catholic it was like 86 times. Right? Yeah, oh, you had this in the 90s I, I though. That. I yeah. carried that into the 90s. No, there was no. There's nine. Yeah, rat tails were in the 90s too. Oh man, we made. See, Chris and I made this look good. So. So I went there and yeah, yeah. So I, I had to I had to cut my, my rat tail. They wouldn't let me go into the school unless I cut my rat tail. My dad made me go to the school. Do you still have it? Uh, I do. It's tucked <laughs> into my ass crack. <laughs> and uh, I will never show it to anybody unless you take your top off, Kristen. Ooh. So uh, <laughs> well, well now but, I'm well thinking now, about you want to smell this rat tail? She's down, for, for, she's down for a sexy I'm, butt uh, rat tail. Uh, <laughs> interesting looking at weird. Shit. So, yeah. Well, yeah. I got it. But uh, <laughs> all right. But no, it's it is. I uh, I had this, and they cut it off. I sh- actually sh- I used to bick my head at that time. I used to bick my head. I play, started playing football, running track, and doing all these things. And um, wow. I became uh, a hell of an athlete. I became all state in track and football. I was a place kicker, so not really football. But I was uh, in football, a uh, place kicker, and um, yeah. I mean, it was it, it was great. It, was, it changed my life. But um, it was a different side of Stockton, though. So the, mm. the majority of people saw Stockton differently than I did because it was it was like an encasing of Stockton um, if you went to St. Mary's. And once you got out of St. Mary's, well, all hell breaks loose, you know. Hmm. We're starting to move into the swim area. We are. Mm. Wow. I we think I, somebody's got to jump in or else it's going to be illegal before we actually push into this area at Fenwell Park. <laughs> so if you've been to Fenwell Park, you have kids. You know where Fenwell Park is. Oh, that's great. You've got, the, uh, you've got the playground right there and you've got an area where it's called the swim area only. If a boat goes in there, I think FBI, CIA, FEMA. Homeland Security. Homeland Security. Yeah. Big brother. Exactly. Can we just Big ask brother. her to push the boat. The fucking around? seals will just appear out of the water. Exactly. Like, exactly. Guns which, which at this point, I'm probably going to start the boat. Yeah. I'm probably going to start the boat. And I, I don't know if this will actually. I think it will reach. Yeah, it'll reach. It'll yeah. reach. All right. Go yeah. ahead and keep talking. Get, get, get a little this ambience. Is perfect. So we're uh, we're firing up the boat now. We're going to move. <laughs> Hopefully, That's it the fire engine. Oh, goodness. What's out of happen? gas. <laughs> Here we go. Friends with the uh, the Coast Guard. What's that? Are you friends with the Coast Guard? <laughs> Do no, any... I'm not. What's going to happen? Do you have any good stories about being banned from any of these bars here on Mission Bay, Jeff? Well, <laughs> we're not talking about that right we now. We don't talk about that on the <laughs> podcast. <laughs> these are beautiful. I've, been out I've never this, actually uh, seen these. A couple these. times this summer. Yeah. These yeah. houses. This is my third before. time this summer. Yeah, a regular. Yeah. Yeah. They're beautiful. They're mostly... Before, uh, like rentals. Well, this could be interesting. Oh, yeah. We actually could go right into the beach, which I think would be fun because we're closer to a bar. <laughs> oh, there you go. Nice. Keep talking amongst yourselves. Sure. Are these performance issues a common occurrence for you, Jeff? He's a little nervous. Well, I do have a big I'm deck. I'm a little I nervous about your deck gonna, right uh, now. Perform. I, mean, I do have a big <laughs> deck. <laughs> it's not the size of the boat. It's the motion in the ocean. Exactly. I, it's, 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 no, but the emotion of the ocean is illegal right now at this point. So this is yeah, a yeah, 2003 now, double decker. Your deck can we've save now us crossed now, into Jeff, the swim so. area. A three-hour podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 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 It's all right. We'll fix there it we in go. post. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's something you don't usually tell a woman in bed. <laughs> we'll fix it in post. Wow. Don't worry, baby. We'll fix it in post. <laughs> no, we're getting closer to the swim area. We're, we're starting to approach the... the uh, definitely the swim area. We're right. starting Good. to approach the light green water, which... Uh, fun. <laughs> but that's when you actually get to see Dory and Nemo. <laughs> that's pee. The rest of it out just here is just Just keep pee swimming. And... Just keep swimming. Do <laughs> you remember when they used to do Flotopia out here a couple years ago? I used to be out here during Flotopia. That's one of the big reasons I actually got uh, uh, this boat, because you we're, can't drink. We're trying... <laughs> We got uh, the lifeguard. The yelling lifeguard at is yelling at, at us right now. Lifeguard's yelling at us. <laughs> We're trying. Well, if we swim in and I butterfly, will it show that I'm almost a lifeguard? <laughs> <laughs> and he goes, "Oh no, you're good. Don't worry about it. Go ahead and leave the big pond." Put that American flag beach. back in your hat, dude. Prop. Yeah, he's pretty pissed, man. <laughs> oh shit, he's coming out. Yeah, he's he's, he's got his he's, fins. He's gonna Bowie. hop on his board and come tell you something. Should we press? Uh, come on. Press pause on the old podcast. You can do it. 
Come on, come on, come on. Yes, yes, yes. Let's go. There we go. go. Engine's on. If I get my big deck rumbling, it's not going to stop. <laughs> yeah. I'm not sure how long you guys have for this podcast. I got all day now. <laughs> what, uh, what time we got? Here we go. Today in San Diego. <laughs> Today in San Diego, Jeff Kraft has a hard time revving his motor. <laughs> yeah, exactly. See what his deck can do. <laughs> What else you guys want to do today? <laughs> this was it for me. Oh, and that's reverse. And, and that's forward. There we go. Let's go. Hard let's to go, let's go. Captain. Oh, I didn't say this podcast was going to be smooth. <laughs> <laughs> I do like a little rough. Speaking of, Chris, when's that top coming off? <laughs> <laughs> He's just not going to let He's not going to let that go. I, I think no. I know where this is going. He's not going to let that go until I let it go. She's even her sandals on. <laughs> I mean, that's Yeah, that, she that does. She does still have her sandals on. Hey, one sandal's off. Oh, man. I've and got a five with your name on it. Wow, I'm excited all the time. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> that's sad five. when somebody takes your sandals off. Everyone's like, woo! <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> Let me introduce you to my friend, Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Don't you mean Abraham Lincoln? Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> yeah, so, so we're, uh, we're moving now. We're super moving. So Jeff, that guy up in, is uh, totally in the armpit. Um, Jeff, just so you know, look at he's like with his lifeguard buddies Those right now. He's like, furious man, at you right I totally would have got him. He's really like fast, isn't he? If his yeah. goat we'll was going to come any him. closer, he's gathered I totally all his buddies. Busted. They're trying to read the name on the back of your boat. They are. Yeah, exactly. They have their binoculars out. They're like, hey, I'm binocularing this guy right now. The guy better watch his back. It's a good thing. I like. I do like to be watched. What a well, that's why you're on TV, right? Exactly. <laughs> yeah, but those guys are a couple of flunkies anyways. They're not even, like, lifeguarding at a real beach. This is basically... <laughs> this, this is, is loser maybe beach a step for above being a pool lifeguard. Or yeah, unless a, David Schwimmer <laughs> is fl- uh, swimming out to me, swimming out Bay to watch, me. Baywatch, more like boy watch. Please. <laughs> Clever pun. What got you into boats? No, I grew up in, I mean, growing up in Stockton, the only thing to do is either kill somebody or float on a boat. Okay. So you got the Delta, uh-huh. or you've got a gun. Okay. Fortunately, my dad introduced me to a boat. Sounds like so the South. I grew up. <laughs> <laughs> I, grew up nice. I grew up on boats because uh, that's what my dad had, and so we just always did. We just grew up on boats. And uh, when I moved down here, I've had lots of boats in San Diego. Been here for about 16 years. Um, I've had ski boats to pontoon boats. Uh, little sailboats, which were too much work because it's hard to hold a beer and uh, sail. Yeah, it's not fun. And, uh, that's why you need a friend like me. That's that's why we that's why we're hanging out now. I love sailing. He sails and, and he doesn't drink. Yeah, so now I've got um, yeah, just I stuck with a pontoon boat. It's a lot of fun. Get a lot of good friends on it. Uh, yep. But that's how I grew up in it. Just growing up in the San Joaquin Delta. San Joaquin Delta. <laughs> Is it like a redneck Riviera? <laughs> Wow. No. Actually, it That's was an not. Interesting it question. was not a redneck Riviera. You think the it would be a redneck question. Riviera. Yeah, I'm just picturing a bunch of hillbillies like, woohoo! No, no, no. Let's it go noodling. It definitely was not. It Let's, was, go it, noodling. Let's go Stockton noodling. Stockton is the agriculture right. uh, capital of the world. Yep. And um, so... You oh, it is. A, That's not a joke. Is it true? Yeah. It is. It's the agriculture capital <laughs> okay. of the world. Interesting. So there were a lot of Mexicans, illegal Mexicans, and they've been cracking down, actually, over the last couple of years, unfortunately. Yeah. But they have what they, it, it's what made Stockton in Central California what it is. And um, so you have you know, a lot of people that made a lot of great money and deserved it and had all these great ski boats and cigarette boats and all these fun boats. Ugh. And it made Stockton what it is. Yeah. Um, and so that's what I grew up with. And it was a lot of fun. But it, I mean, right. it was, you'd think it was hillbillies, but it definitely wasn't. Even you got agriculture, you got avocado farms, you got all these crazy things out there. Uh-huh. Um, it wasn't like hillbillies. Okay. It wasn't like, uh, you know, the Midwest going up in Kentucky or, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, Iowa or yeah. wherever else. Well, yeah, because I went to uh, visit my brother who lived out in Nebraska a couple of years ago, and that's all these people would do. They would just float down a river and just, like, park and drink. That's on a float. tube. That's on an inflatable tube. That's were, not with an engine, is it? No, no that's these are tubing. boats. Yeah, that's different. These are boats. No, tubing's fun. I love tubing. <laughs> Inner tubing. 
How I've many more it. beers are you going to have, Mark? I love I tubing, too, but I don't think we were talking about the same thing. Does anyone want to talk about my trip to Laos when I went inner tubing? Is that what her name was? Yeah. Oh, jeez. Wow. Wow. I love this episode so much. Yeah. Great to have you back, Mark. No, I didn't. Great to have you back. Did I really? Did I really? <laughs> what about this? What about this boat that just shoots water at little kids? That's a lifeguard. So that lifeguard, I, uh, is he there. putting out so a, a fire in the boat. lake, that's, or they, what is he they doing? Keep it, they park it inside of Mission Bay, or he's got the biggest dong and he's just taking a leak. Yeah, that guy can, has a huge deck right else. now. But he'll go. He actually has kids that are always out here on the beach, and what he does is he'll come out to the beach a lot of the times and he'll spray the kids. He'll spray the birds, he'll, and they'll just they're just having some fun, goofing off. Oh, that's cute. But that's what he's doing right now. He's trying to get a lot of the uh, the birds. Yeah, I like to go places and spray everybody. Yeah, is that what you do? That's what it's called, just spraying. It's a nice, fun time. Yeah. Can, no. He's on my hand. This is a right nice now. time. <laughs> this is a man who cares <laughs> about these children. He's just pulling out his hose and just spraying them. Yeah, he's spraying all the kids with happiness. Well, Can I'm you saying. just leave it alone, David? That's what I'm saying. God, they're enjoying it. Let it, let it be. They're like a whole that. group of summer camp kids. He's like, yeah, take it, little kids. It's really cute. <laughs> it's quite the subculture here on the bay, huh? They're like, yay. It's I great. Like it. It's a great thanks site. for inviting me. It's a wonderful day. It's delightful. <laughs> you came out. Yeah. You know, I never, I never say no. <laughs> yeah. Ever? So Ever. Here, so I'm not sure who you guys have next coming on the podcast, but you can only go up from here, right? <laughs> Hashtag inner tubes. Actually, we're going to be uh, interviewing Shotgun Tom this weekend. Oh, Shotgun Tom K- Kelly. I, I, yeah. I, we, we all love grew him. up listening to Shotgun, uh, Shotgun Tom, especially going back and forth from L.A. to San Diego. Yep. you got to tune in to... Uh, 101. Yep, carry the 101. Oh, man. With Shotgun Tom Kelly. (laughs) See, this is what I'm still getting introduced to because I haven't been here long enough. And everyone's like, everyone. I I remember when I was, you know, the first, last year when I was, um, when I was a part of the film awards and no joke, when he showed up, every one of you turned into like a pile of pudding yeah, was, like a four year everyone like became a, a four year old and they're like oh my god it's shotgun tom, shotgun tom shotgun tom and i'm like, <laughs> I'm like who, who is this guy with the beard and who's this guy with the, hat? and i thought he was hilarious <laughs> i'm like i get why you like him but i wasn't involved in your childhood nah. yeah. so i didn't get like why and so david was filling me in like no we used to watch him saturday morning cartoons he was on the radio every afternoon like yeah shotgun tom was our life like you always heard him. Yeah, he so, was around everywhere. I remember one yeah. time me and Steve were at Pink's hot dogs up in Hollywood, and there's he's got multiple pictures of him eating a hot Aww. dog, signing autographs. I'm like, wow, dude, is he really that big of a deal? I didn't know that, but yeah, I mean, the dude's got a star on the Hollywood too, yeah. Walk of Fame. Yeah, yeah Shotgun Tom. I mean, Shotgun That's Tom. That's amazing. Kelly, I mean, he, yeah. he he basically raised so many people. I mean, you you listen to him on the radio, and you're driving up there, and when he when he when he intros a song, I mean, it's just so fun. It's almost like a song before a song. Well, his energy is so infectious. Yeah, I mean, he's got energy, such a great voice. Yeah, the tone yeah. that he had, the energy that he brought. I mean, it was it was a lot of fun. You had Shotgun Tom Kelly, and in LA, you had Casey Kasem, who was national, yeah. who had his top oh, yeah. top twenty, the top forty. Yeah. But I mean, it's like you had Casey you know, Corpse. Tom, Shotgun Tom. It, it was like, hey, we're gonna be going over here. Here we go. And then you had Casey. Hi there. This is Casey Gaysom. This <laughs> yeah. long distance dedication. I mean, you had some people that actually had some really cool personality. Like, they had their personality. They just brought yep. it in, and and it's so you can't replicate yeah. Tom Kelly. You can't replicate Casey Kaysom. and that was a fun the, the the fun part. And the great thing is, you know, Casey Kaysom obviously is not doing it anymore, but Tom is still doing his thing. Yeah, well, you know, he, he, he recently thing. retired from. He K-Rick. recently retired, but he's still got but his, he's still working. He still like, goes still out and works. Yeah. He still works. The guy's yeah. amazing. Like, I I still have yet to found is. Is, is Casey Gay, is he dead or is he not dead? He, have, I think he's dead but not buried, I believe. <laughs> <laughs> Still. Oh, all, we need to do is, all we need is You're, shovel, some beer, deep. and a prayer, and we can bury that bastard. I'm telling you. And you remember Imagine the play we can get on that. I remember radio back in the day. All the hosts were he's so much. Tours, he's dead. They were so tours. much better than what we have today. Like, you had Wolfman Jack and uh, Dr. Mento and, like, like re- listening to the radio back in the day was like you weren't just listening to music you were listening for the hosts yeah they were incredible every one of Absolutely. them has right. personality and and they they developed a relationship with their audience seacrest oh i miss that i miss I know, that I about remember, radio when i first um, moved to san diego like i said 16 years ago i, I wanted to get back into radio and i worked at 94.9 it was called b94.9 the best of the 80s and more so it was an 80s format and i worked with a guy named rich brother robbins rich brother robbins was a character 
just so damn great. And he's still doing some stuff. And I think he's retiring soon. I was talking to Jeff from Jeff and Jerry. I was talking to Jeff recently, and <laughs> we were both looking online. Is, is he dead? We don't even know who's dead alive anymore. And um, we, were, we were chatting, and he's still alive, and he's still doing radio. And uh, he was one of those guys that was like, it's like, uh, you know, B94.9, the best of the 80s and more. Coming up next, we've got uh, Cindy Lauper. You remember Cindy Lauper? And he, they started playing the music and he would continue talking. Right. He would continue talking. It'd be the middle of the song. Oh, here comes the good part. You know, it was like, it was crazy. It was crazy. And it's like, you're, inter- you're, you're, the song's ending. And you're interrupting his conversation with himself. It was just so fun. Wow. Like, what the hell is he talking about? We got a crash coming up on uh, 805. But hey, here is Cindy Lopper. <laughs> just just random crap that uh-huh. he's talking about in his head. And it was so fun to watch him because you didn't know what he was going to do. And that was really exciting. And it was, it, it was, it was where well, they needed medication, but you didn't want to give him medication. Now they're all on medication. And it's boring. And it's nice. boring now, you know. <laughs> well, that's where I think podcasts have stepped in. Like, there's so many personalities in podcasts. Yeah, because we can just be whoever we want. We're not told what to do. It's like it's like the Wild West, the way radio was back in the day. You know, yep. like you can do whatever you want on a podcast, yeah. which is fantastic. Yeah, this is the know? way radio used to be. Mark can be Mark. Kristen can be whatever character she decides to play right. today, you know? Yeah. Like, Which Kristen are you top today? Top on or top off, you know what I mean? She's top off, top definitely. Off. Stop it. No, stop. Jeez. Well, our guest, he's she, requesting it. Listen, I'm hospitable. I'm driving the boat Just like right the next now. guy. Yeah, that's right. very right. impressive. steer this right into a, a cement pylon. Keep your top on. <laughs> what the I can fuck? drive better with my eyes closed or looking at your top off. Either one. You pick one. I don't know to be offended or impressed. You should be. Right now. You, you should definitely not be offended. <laughs> I'm impressed. What a deck. What a deck. <laughs> <laughs> what a great afternoon on the ship show. I know. What a ship show. What a ship show. I agree. But yeah, the transition from uh, tonight in San Diego, all the crap we've talked about here to, you know, today so far. We're from tonight in San Diego, all the other random stuff that I've done. Um, How did you it, get into hosting? Uh, I did. It was emceeing, a live event emceeing. Well, how'd you, know, you get did, into that? Uh, I was a live event MC. I mean, I, of course, when I did radio, you have to, you've got to introduce different acts, music acts. And I was doing up in Northern California. I was uh, hosting a radio show, and uh, somebody came in, and they were they they were working with Justin Timberlake and Christina Aguilera at the time. This is back in '96, maybe. And so, anyways, we started talking. They said we're looking for somebody to bring somebody on stage to bring on to our team to bring. Um, uh, our our singers on stage, the artists on stage, and thank all the sponsors and go on tour with us. I'm like, well, I know a guy, me. So, uh, <laughs> so we went to, I mean, Miami, we were at Nikki Beach. We were all over the country, and it was Christina Aguilera and uh, Justin Timberlake. He was the headliner, and Aguilera at the time was the, uh, he, he was, she, she was right underneath him, basically. This is before they blew up. Uh, yeah, before she blew up. And um, I always thought it was Britney Spears who was right underneath him back then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and David Dawson's in the house. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, that's basically what started. It's it's. Uh, I started doing that, and then I got back uh, off tour, and I started doing more, a lot, lot of live events. A lot of live events around the country, and brands would hire me to be a part of whatever they're trying to launch. Um, and if they're launching this new great thing, and they want to go to these festivals and these fairs all over the country, and they need somebody to talk to the general public about it, well, hey, that was me. And I did that, and I started learning projection. I started learning, to, you know, a tone and a, you know, maintaining um, an energy, but more importantly, uh, being affected by who's in front of you. So there's an audience that's a wide range of audience. Whether you're in the Midwest, on the East Coast, or on the West Coast, it's a, it's a pretty wide range, and you've got to know who they are, what they're about, and what's happening in their area right now, and you got to adjust. And that's what I did. And that's why I got into hosting. And, and when I started doing a lot of live events, my agent at the time, I was doing acting, I was doing daytime TV, mm. and my, my started getting into hosting. My agent said, well, you got to choose. you got to go into hosting or you're going to go into acting. I said, well, I like hosting because I still kind of get to be me and I get to screw off. And that's kind of what started. And my agent started putting me into auditions, and I started getting almost every audition. I started getting every, landing every job. And it was really a lot of fun, and I enjoyed it because, one, I was getting paid, but more importantly, <laughs> yeah. I was getting chosen. And when you're acting, a lot of the times you don't get chosen. I was getting chosen a lot more hosting than I was yeah. acting. 
and I got hooked on it. Wow. And that's how I got started. And then I went from uh, commercials, went to, and then online started becoming hot, started doing a lot of things online. And then over the last eight years, I've been hosting just a lot of different TV shows. And um, it's led me from all over, like I said, all over the country, all over the world. Um, and now I've been doing stuff with NBC here in San Diego as the station host. It's, it's, it's really, it's, it's been a fun it's been a fun journey, but my ultimate goal in life is to host Access Hollywood Live. I want Billy Bush's job, which now isn't Billy Bush's job anymore, but that is the format that I would really love. That is where I feel like I would really excel is truly being live. Um, and Entertainment coverage. Entertainment. You've got, you got pop culture. You've yeah. got you know, current events. Um, you've got everything under the sun that's happening right there. In-studio interviews. You've got on-location interviews. Everything is right there. And all you've got to do is be a part of it and create mm-hmm. something that's going to be spectacular for the listeners. Well, that's fun for me. I get to, it's, it's a challenge for me. I, am I going to be able to do that? I don't know, but I'm going to go old school, push record, and let's go. Yeah. You know? Um, that's, I, I love that challenge where a lot of people, they get a mic in their hand, and all of a sudden it's like, okay, here's 10,000 people. Uh, I need, here's some bullet points entertain them for the next 15 minutes i thrive that is where i love just give me the mic don't even just i I got what you're doing let me just let me create an environment let me me create some excitement here because this is where i'm truly alive this is where i get to have fun in life and when you're having fun in life and you're actually getting paid for it you get to go to work you don't have to go to work and i always want to get to go to work that's beautiful man yeah absolutely so Kristen, what about that top (laughs) <laughs> I'm sorry. Why? Really? He just got here. Really? He's just a text away, Kristen. Oh, man, He's seriously. just a text away. I'm about to text you a lot of a lot of things right now, Mark. I just they're thought not I be, needed to not bring it pretty. down after your. That was a great inspirational monologue. <laughs> Mark doesn't do inspiration well. It. Can Anthony you tell? Robbins gets paid hundreds of thousands of dollars to speak. I get paid. I get paid seven young blanc. I thought. And yeah. Awesome. Tony Cox, Chris and Naomi, and yep. Mark I just wonder if the moment by throwing long. my two cents all in. All day long. <laughs> I'm only kidding, Chris. Keep it on. Um, no, he's not. Oh, I am. Uh, I was gonna say something. Oh, you're like his sister. You he started, doesn't actually want to see it. It'd be kind of weird now. No, I don't want to see. Yeah. I, no. uh, <laughs> I uh, <laughs> I checked out uh, your acting demo reel. My acting demo reel. Yes, acting, yes. You were a good acting. actor oh, back in the day. No, I checked out the hosting one, too. Oh, man. The acting demo reel was uh, scary. It was definitely, uh, definitely scary. You know the thing about getting together an acting demo reel? You, like, shoot like an if old lady if you're in, in a pool. I did. I did. I shot, I shot a lady. I, <laughs> I, I had a shotgun, and she lost. Yeah. And, uh, but, you know, the thing about an, an, and putting together an acting demo reel, especially if you have some pretty good, if you got some good footage, is actually getting the footage. Yeah. It's hard to actually yeah. get the footage well, to incorporate it into yeah. your demo reel, and uh, but at that time that was a transition from my acting into hosting. Yeah, where I didn't even really care anymore. But that's 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 a hard that was a hard part. But my acting demo reel it, it was fun. I did so many random things: student films, independent films, feature films, day you know TV, daytime TV, and but hosting was my calling. And that's that's yeah. really where I well, you uh, got the I'm good looking. look for it. You know, you got the hair, you got the chin. The chin, the chin, yeah, that butt chin. All, as as, all as one of uh, my lines, uh, if chins could kill, you'd be an Uzi. <laughs> I actually well, have a cleft chin too. That you one didn't make the cut, obviously. It's not as defined. That's why you You've, and I, uh, we were. I have a cleft chin. My father I have has one a cleft chin. I have a cleft chin. Now that I'm losing my weight, it start. I'm starting yeah, to feel it again. It's actually well. that's actually the reason that we would have. <laughs> that actually used to be like revered. It's a lot of butt together. It is. It's a it's a cleft chin, but it used to be revered. Like that was something that was like it absolutely. And it is. I mean, you you if you have it, you should rock it. It's a part of who you are. You know. Oh yeah, absolutely. You've also got a uh, a cadence to you that's kind of uh, reminiscent of old school. Does anyone ever tell you, you sound a lot like Jack Lemon? Yeah, I've, I've had a lot of people tell me. I, I is that natural, or did you work on it? No, you know it is. It's, it's stuck an accent. You know, I don't know if it was. It's not from growing up. No, I, I think it's from the industry, from doing all the different things, and you're trying to find out who you are and what you're about, and you become a little bit of everything. Sure, it becomes radio. Mm-hmm. Um, it and becomes uh, TV. It becomes yeah. hosting, and you, it just becomes you. You you kind of you stop thinking about the audience. You stop thinking about the camera, and you start thinking about yourself. And you start thinking, it's like I'm about to say this, but I'm going to pause, and then you start going into something else. Yeah. And it's not about anything else. It's not about 
anybody that's in front of you, it's about what you're doing. Mm-hmm. And if it's a good enough uh, crew, production crew, or now, I mean, it could be streaming, digital, I mean, it doesn't matter what it is, the audience is going to go with you if they like you. Mm. And you've got to just choose. It's a commitment. And it was never it was never a choice. It just became, I just, I just forgot. I just forgot about what was happening in front of me. But it's easy to do that when you're a host because as a live event MC and as a TV host, sure, you've got to go ahead and go to camera. And you've got to talk to camera. And you've got to do transitions in. You've got to go, you're mm-hmm. out. You've got to do tosses to correspondence, whatever. But really, you just, you got to just forget it. you just got to be you. And that's where TV and podcasts and digital streaming, whatever, has created characters. And I think it came from reality TV, unfortunately. Reality, reality TV uh, uh, actors, they are. It's not reality TV, they're actors. Yep. Um, that's where it derived from. And it's like, it's okay to do, go ahead and take the pauses if you want to. And uh, I, I do. I have, I have a cadence. I, I have a cadence about me. And I've had a lot of people talk, you know, say that. But it's me. And I, I love, meant it as a I compliment, by it. the way. I wasn't... <laughs> yeah, you're an asshole, Mark. I mean, you're basically saying I'm, I'm Jeff, doing everything wrong. has anyone ever told you you sound like you talk from the you 1930s? You sound like a duck fart. <laughs> duck you ever fart. Had and the truth comes <laughs> out. <laughs> the truth will set them free. Yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> no, I do. I, I, I just do my own thing. I do my own thing. It works for me. And uh, in this day and age, you yeah. have to do what works for you. Because if yeah. you don't, somebody else will. Somebody else somebody will, exactly. Somebody has a particular expertise in this and that and that. And there's a network that's going to capitalize on this and that and that. And you got to choose what this and that and that is going to be. Yeah. Because there's too many options now. Would you say that you're a brand of sorts? I'm a brand yeah. of... No. That's the thing I wish I... I you don't do think you wish are? I wish I was. I really? I wish I had... I, I do because huh. I get a lot more work. If I if I knew construction a lot more. Yeah. If I knew... If I was more artistic. If I knew how current flowed in the water. If I knew how a duck farted. <laughs> I would actually be able to host a show because it nowadays goes back to duck farts. It, there's a show about everything, and there's also TV shows popping yeah. up of everything. If you have an expertise in something, you have a job. Mm. Yep, and that's well. where digital has changed everything. Because if, if if the audience, the consumer wants to watch this, all they've got to do is type it into Google, and not even make a complete sentence. You know, it's like I want to watch how the current changes. Current changes, San Diego. There's going to be something, somebody talking about it. Mm. And that is where digital and uh, has changed everything because the consumer has become so focused on, like, I want this right now. And apps have changed everything right now. If you want to be a host or an actor and you're not noticed yet, well, in order to be noticed, you've got to be noticed on a niche side of things. And then you have an opportunity to grow because if your sure. social media is not strong enough on what you know, that you don't have an opportunity. It doesn't matter what you know doesn't matter anything like that. Just have a social media. Have something that you know because it's a fallback. You've got to have multiple you got to have multiple uh, uh, profit streams coming in. Yeah. And now it's a diversified, you know, it's a diversified life. And you've you, you got to go with it. And it's unfortunate because a lot of talent is being pushed by the wayside, not because they're not good, but because their social media isn't the best or because, hmm. which I'm, in, I'm included in that, um, but because they're not niche in this, everything is right now. And uh, it's a it's a hard it's a hard place to grow up in. It's a hard place to grow up in. So you got to diversify. So I do I do a little bit of radio. I do a little bit of TV. I do a little. I don't really do film. I do a little t- TV. I do hosting on Ranger TV. Rocket. And I'll do that's my that's my feature film recently. <laughs> the Ranger Rocket. Don't look that up. Um, and, um, and 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 live event MC. So I'm going to get yeah. work out of all those things. Yeah. But it's not going to be consistent work. But mm. I'm going to consistently work. Because I've got profit streams coming in from all those things. You got the uh, as the long ship as you're show. Consistently working, yeah. You are uh, going to be attainable. You're you're, you're going to be able to grow your brand, and, and not necessarily even in real estate. I mean, in real and, estate. and that's in, the thing. If, well, if, entertainment. If, if, yeah, it's, it's you do estate. real estate too, right? Well, it's like, well, I, I don't do real estate. I, I don't do real estate. I mean, I did stuff. I've done all kinds of random things. It's, it's it's who you know, and you associate yourself with people that you know. It's like they can help you do this because they've got. They've got investors. They've got you know platforms where they can bring people in. Well, I know a lot of people. If I can go ahead and put this person into this person, I'm going to make some money. But it's it's truly about if you're an entertainer, if you're in the industry, if you can diversify yourself, um, where you have not just just a, a general 
audience, mm-hmm. but a niche audience, grow from your niche audience. Be good at something. Hmm. That's where trade schools have come into play. If you went to a trade school, hmm. damn, and you want to be a host, only concentrate on what you went, what you went to school for. Because if you went to trade school as being an architect, but you really, you really want to host extra, well, the only way to get to extra is to start in your trade school. Okay. And because you've got to know something now. You've got to know something and be an expert about something, or at mm-hmm. least act like it, or at yeah. least be able to con- you know have a conversation about it. Um, and man, it's frustrating, but at the same time, you know what? Things change. You got to go with it. Either you, you can complain about it, or you can go with it. Adapt you complain or die. About it, you're going to get a regular job. Ooh, you go with it, I don't want that. Continue working in no. the industry. I don't want a regular job. It's a choice. <laughs> well, you've been struggling with the regular job thing for months now. Uh, I've got several sources of income myself, yeah, but yeah. Uh, I wish more of it was entertainment based. Sure, we all do, right? Yeah, hell maybe yeah. I'm not, maybe I'm not diversified enough. Actually, I was talking to Mike Miner today. I was because he's like, "Oh man, I don't know what everybody's talking about. I'm super busy. I'm booked all the way through September on gigs." Mike is, and yeah. I wrote him back. I'm like, "Well, that's great for you. I haven't worked in months." <laughs> you know, and he goes, "Well, maybe it's because everybody just thinks." You're a director, and you're doing your own things. They've seen you succeeding at your own things, and they don't think you'll do other stuff. I'm like, well, of course I'll do other stuff. Yeah. <laughs> I need to pay my bills, you know? Like People don't know that. That's the mindset of people, though. That's yeah. the mindset of people. If they see you doing this, that's what you do now. Yeah. It's not general. Yeah. So as long as you let people know this is what you do, or at least put online that people see that you do this, this, and this, uh, and the Google searches or whatever searches that are out there, um, people can see that you actually do other things, you're going to get more work. Yeah. But if you don't put yourself out there because I mean, you want to concentrate on this and you want to be an expert, because that's what it used to be, I do this. Well, that's what people see you as. But I need this. No, no I've actually done that before. But if you're not actually talking to them, they don't know that. <laughs> so um, I was like, where are we going? <laughs> Tell me those rocks in. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're just driving around. We're just driving around Mission Bay. Uh, oh yeah, this is where OTL was. Actually, I've yeah, never been. Yes, I, this, this is, is my Island first right time. To the left of us. This is actually my Home first time, guys, in Mission Bay. Tournament. First time in Mission, first time Bay? In Mission Bay ever. Really? Yep. yep. Wow. So we're knocking I've been, off another. First I've been trying today. to pay attention at the same time. Like, ooh, pretty things. Oh, hey, there's palm trees uh, and beautiful you look everywhere. Really good in that top. <laughs> Anyways, Fiesta Island I'm, I'm is glad right he over brought here. it back and, and not me. So glad I'm yeah. here today. The, Speaking the of topless, is over here. Yeah. <laughs> is, is, that's going to be the, the second weekend of uh, Over the Line this year, 2016, happening right over here. It's always a great time. Yeah, it was a good time. I, uh, I think have a wet t-shirt make a contest documentary about, about it. Now, you know what? ESPN actually offered the guys that created Over the Line, like, yeah. I, I don't know what the exact number is, like $10 million. Whoa. But the great thing about $10 million. <laughs> Um, is is the money the bad thing for the guys that created Ombak? <laughs> yeah. They didn't need the money. They say ESPN They're said old, if, you rich do, white if, you, if you do this, you have to change the names of the teams because the names can be the. That's right. Yeah, yeah. The eat shuck. The 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 eat shit. Come fuckers. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah, well, that, and that's the fun part about being yeah. part of that. The ESPN said that's literally the a names name. cannot be that. Yeah. And they said. Well, that's not what we're about. Yeah, exactly. And they said, well, then we can't uh, we can't pay you $10 million. They said, well, go fuck yourself then. Yeah. And that's why it has not grown uh, to be on ESPN. Wow. I'm glad because yeah. the quirkiness of that event because is Ombok, what it's all about. Because the guys that created Ombok, they're all, they're, all, they're all rich anyways. They don't care. Yeah, they're all like, yeah. they're old perverts. They're old guys. They're old guys. <laughs> they're all old they perverts. <laughs> Just I mean, they're all right now saying, allegedly. listen to this podcast. I wish Krista would take her top off. Yeah, those are the yeah. guys that are listening to this right now. They don't now. even know they're what They're like, podcast. yeah, and, uh, please. And, and those aren't our guys. describe I mean, that, it to us. That's not who we are, slow, right? No, Krista, take your top off. Not yet. But I mean, that's... Give us a couple more decades, Jeff. <laughs> I have a lot of angry women listen to this podcast. Yeah. <laughs> we have to put a warning. I mean, on that's it. no different than usual, but it's um, been a lot of fun, guys. This it's just really been you a know, lot it just is what it is. For me, <laughs> Did you take a picture of him piloting the boat and talking on the mic at the same time. I can do two things at once. I can do you do Snapchat, Snapchat video. I love it. Well, Snapchat. what I love is because he's so happy, like while he's doing it, he's just like this he's is just like combining his two loves, you know? Yeah, this it's is like I'm hosting and piloting at the same time. And the ship show, <laughs> yeah. Captain, and Captain my boat. Yep. 
We got SeaWorld, the tower right over there. We're looking right at the tower. We got the uh, the sky ride over there. Shamu's counting his days before it becomes free and free willy. I mean, USD was, in the distance. I mean, all the beauty yeah. of San Diego is right here. Downtown, uh, we're just we're a couple hours away. What are we? Uh, we are actually one hour away from... The All Star Game, the 2016 All Star Game here oh, in San shit. Diego. Yeah, right. you can see all see all the planes and shit flying over downtown with yeah. their banners and whatnot. A lot going on over oh, there. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Is there any blimps in town for this? Why aren't, I don't see why any aren't blimps. the blimps in town? I don't see any blimps. I remember when the uh, Super Bowl was here. Yeah. Uh, when it was the it was Green Bay against uh, Denver Raiders. The Raiders. No, it was, it was it was a Green Bay. It was it was Ugh. no, it was the Broncos. Dying. Broncos against somebody. Anyway, I hosted a Raiders. I hosted a Raiders Super Bowl here. I was one of the MCs. Well, I worked the other Super Bowl. The other one, the one before that. Yeah. Raiders. Yeah. So I did. I did the lighting that had the logos chasing each yeah. other all around the, Got it. the stadium. Okay, yeah, yeah. And I remember we were down there, and like every blimp in the world was in town that day, and they were they kept racing each other down the valley. <laughs> <laughs> so we'd be working, and you'd look towards the water, and you'd see just this fleet of blimps coming towards the stadium, all all at their highest speed, which is like walking speed. But they're all chasing each other, trying to see who can get to the stadium first. It was it was. Well, the PGA. That's where you see a lot of great. blimps. The PGA Tour when it comes to Tory Bynes. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. The PGA. I was going to go pro in uh, PGA. They don't allow you to drink beer on the course. So I think Boo. I'm well, what about uh, John Daly? <laughs> yeah, he he drank. It was in the in the bottom of his club, so he was, was acting like, like he was about to drive and it like a Babe Ruth of uh, <laughs> golf. <laughs> That's hilarious. Big old drunk. I'm glad you guys came out though. This is fun. No, Good this time. is this Every has week, been fun. Fall. Every week we should do this. I think we. I think we could do that. Your subscription base. You want to do this every week? Yeah, we'll have a good time. If I, <laughs> you're you're saying if like I want to relax and like have a tan. Yeah, and like have a really possibly bad take my top off. Top on. I mean, Ooh. yeah. Maybe. I gotta say, sitting on the deck of a boat really suits you. Thank you. Yeah, I really enjoy it. Yeah, you look really good. Everyone's like, "Hey, do you, you look miss Chicago?" You have a like, good time, Tony. No. <laughs> you have a good time. I love Chicago, but Tony I don't Cox miss it when house. I'm sitting on a boat in you know Southern California. Yeah, this is a. a we're missing Randy. Adore, you know, like Randy no, Davis. We're missing a lot of people. There's a lot of people here in San Diego that have a lot of talent. That should be on the boat right now, and one day we will get everybody on here. We get twenty people on this thing. And twenty, huh? Have a good time. Yeah, last time I was, last time I came, uh, I just missed Jesse, Jesse Egan, and Merrill. Yeah. They were yeah, just he, getting Jesse, off, and I was getting uh, on. Jesse, Merrill, Climo, and yeah. uh, who else was on on the boat at that? I don't, I don't remember. There is, there. We had a good time though, and you came on after that. You and Randy. Me and the. We did part two. Part yep. two. Part two. Part two. So, yeah. uh, where can people watch your stuff? Like. Your NBC uh, people can show. Go to jeffcraft.com. The last name is, well, it's Krapuf. Just keep that in your mind with a K. <laughs> K R A P is in Paul, F is in Frank. Jeffcraft.com. Um, that's my website. There's all kinds of random stuff on there. And uh, just type me into Google. Just bypass the Jeff Craft. Can only be within a thousand feet of a school. Just bypass that. Skip over that. Um, <laughs> that's that's that. So that was a long time ago. It was a really dark time in my life. But uh, no, never. That's not on there. But anyways, uh, just before type social Google. media, yeah. NBC Seven. I'm the station host for NBC Seven San Diego. Uh-huh. Um, Thegoods.com. I, I host all that. I do all kinds of stuff. I have a couple of things coming up. Uh, Jams that are going to be uh, coming out with NBC, and I've got some national stuff that's going to be coming up that I can't announce yet. But uh, just keep checking in. A lot of really fun things are coming up, and I'm excited. And uh, you know, I'll be 38 in about a week and a half, July 19th. Oh wow! And what are you gonna uh, do? I'm putting that out there. That's right. I'm putting that out there. I wear cream under my eyes. I hope I look for 37. But I'm yeah, be Jim Beam and Coke. It works well. And uh, so you're not the oldest guy on the show. I'm not the only. Yeah, you know, I'm not the. I, I can't be the anchor on the boat. There's somebody else that can be older, right, David? So <laughs> you're 39. 39, right? No. No? 36? No. Oh, you're a sexy man. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm 41. I turned 41 in May. Oh, you look good. What are you doing for your birthday? Uh, you know, my wife, Tristan, has not told me. My wife? Uh, my birthday's on a Tuesday this year. It's the shittiest day of the week, I think, or Wednesday. Taco Next Tuesday. Year's the shittiest day oh, of yeah, week. Wednesday's pretty shit. But she's taking me somewhere on Saturday, okay. and she hasn't told me, so I'm not really sure what I'm doing this week, uh, uh, this right. year. Okay. But um, yeah, I'm be 38 this year, and um, 
Yeah, a lot of fun things are happening. It's it's it's, it's really exciting. Unfortunately, I can't announce a lot of things because it's not official. Mm. But uh, a lot of fun things are happening. When you get up, to, it's like when people say forty is a new thirty. It truly is because that is nowadays is when. Um, the general audience really comes alive and they really see you as somebody that could be a, a, a trustworthy or um, somebody they can count on or uh, however you want to say it. But it's it's really been like a, a really great sparking time of my life. Hmm. You know, I don't want to read news and read teleprompter unless I have to. Well, for the next three, four years, I don't have to. Okay. Um, and hopefully I never have to. Even though I love NBC7, I don't want to have to be the anchor. At night. Yeah. But, uh, but yeah, jeffcraft.com, NBC7. You can see me on there. And, uh, yeah, you know, follow me on Facebook, Jeff Craft, Twitter, in- Jeff Craft, Instagram, Jeff Craft. Just follow Jeff Craft. There's only one of me in the world. Who else would have the shitty name? <laughs> <laughs> no pun intended. Well, it's been great talking to you, Jeff. Yeah. Um, we're going to go ahead and end this episode now and just enjoy being on the boat. Dock the boat. All right. Um, be sure to follow us, The Intellectuals, online. You can follow us on Twitter, at The Intellectual. You can find us on Facebook, Intellectual Entertainment. Uh, we're on Instagram, The Intellectual. Uh, you can find me personally, The Real David S. Dawson, on Facebook, or David S. Dawson on Instagram and Twitter. Mark can be found on Twitter, at Mark's Twitty. I, like, never tweet, though. You and should. The shittiest tweet here. You can Tweetier. find... Wow. Krista Naomi Garcia on Facebook. You can also find her on Twitter and Instagram Instagram at K-N-A-O-G-1. K-N-O-G-1. And uh, thanks for joining us on the show. Thank you again, Jeff, for letting us hang out on the boat. Uh, We're out of gas. Oh. See you guys. Yeah, we're we're, we're gently floating. (laughs) Wow, that was convenient. (laughs) So, cool. Out of time. Out of gas, out of time. Hello there, citizens. I am the terror that flaps in the night. I am the floaty that will not flush no matter how many times you try in the toilet bowl of crime. I am Darkwing Duck, telling you please, talk hard and enjoy the mindgasm. <laughs> Whatever the heck that means. After all, you are watching Intellectual Podcast with your ears. <laughs> <laughs>